So the Tennessee Titans are back in the playoffs. It's now their fourth straight season with a 9-7 and record, which is just hilarious. But, you know, this 9-7 and feels a lot different than previous 9-7s, and largely because they have been a different team with Ryan Tannehill as the quarterback, but also because I think Derrick Henry is by far having his best year. I mean, he's been a monster. He led the league in rushing this year. And, I mean, let's just jump into how he was able to completely run all over the Texans. He had over 200 yards on a day, and there's just there's so many things he does well. And we'll start off with this one, for example. So the way this play is going to work is that first things first for Tennessee, they're going to have their left guard and left tackle, and also they're going to have the other two Tennessee Titans who are on the line. Both just go out to double-team Texans in the area. And then what's going to happen is that obviously two players will get off the double-team. They will go out to block two players at the second level. And so that's the way this play is going to work. So for Henry, he'll probably run in between the double teams. Tennessee likes to run a lot of double teams. So this is pretty simple, and this is what you would expect to see happen as Henry kind of runs straight up the middle. However, after the ball is snapped, one thing you will notice is it, you see there's a double team right there, and they do a good job of finishing that double team. However, there, it seems like it might not be as great as of a situation as you might think because there's still a long ways for him to go to make sure that he moves up to block another Houston player. And Henry, he's just a little bit concerned at this point that if he isn't able to get there in time, then potentially there could be a tackle and you could only gain a few yards on this one. And so for Henry, he's going to do something a little bit unusual here, something that some people would recommend against, and he's going to bounce to the outside. And the reason why a lot of people would recommend to not do this is because, as you see, there is a defensive back who's in the area who can make a tackle. I mean, in the NFL, the reality is if you keep breaking things to the outside, guys are just so fast, somebody will find a way to run over and make a tackle, probably, so it's just a risky situation, and it can result in you losing yards. But the difference is that A, Derrick Henry is really fast and can, can get to the edge very quickly, but also B, he's just a tough guy to bring down. I mean, that's what you're going to see happen, really. Henry just doesn't go down and is able to turn the corner and gain a few yards. I mean, nothing crazy. They do get the first down. It's not something that's going to be on many highlight reel plays, but that one play actually does so much for Tennessee because now for Houston, you kind of have to say, well, maybe Tennessee is going to do that on every run. Every run, you have to be wary of Henry potentially breaking things to the outside because he can gain yards that way, and that just makes things so much more difficult. And also, while Derrick Henry, of course, is going to get all the credit, he is the halfback, I feel like as a whole, this Tennessee Titans team just does a great job of blocking. And and this play is a good example of that. Where So that's going to be most of the blocking concept. But actually, the key thing I want you to take a look at is going to be the double team right over there. It's going to be a double team, and then someone will get off the double team to then make sure that he's blocking the other Houston Texan player who's in the area. So that's the way this play is designed to work. However, after the ball is snapped, if you look at Zach Cunningham, he actually reads this play pretty well. He's breaking a little bit to the top half of the screen, a little bit outside. So now, I mean, as you see, the Tennessee player who's trying to get over and make a block on Cunningham, it's going to be tough for him to do this because he just doesn't have the angle and Cunningham could run around. And yes, now this could mean that Henry could run to the inside and gain a lot of space, but if Cunningham is able to get around quickly, he could make a tackle, and Cunningham's a good tackler. So this is def definitely a dangerous situation for Tennessee. But watch what they're going to do. They're kind of just going to basically just switch off who they're blocking. This insane awareness by both of those guys, and now there is a hat on a hat for both guys, so to speak. Both guys have a person to block, and, and this is going to actually work out pretty well. Henry is able to just put his head down and run through the hole, and that's one of the things that makes Henry so great is the fact that he's just a tough guy to bring down, so it seems like he always falls forward for at least three or four yards, and that's what he was able to do here. Also, one thing I think is very interesting about the Titans is that you have to make sure you play smart football against the running game because if you beat yourself, they will beat you badly. I think it'll be interesting to see how the New England Patriots attack the Texans because obviously they're a very interesting team and they're a very smart team. I think that I'm going to actually make a couple of videos talking about that game. I'm going to try to break down the two things I have in my head right now is I'm going to break down the A.J. Brown versus Gilmore matchup and also I'm going to break down just uh, Tom Brady and the whole Patriots as a whole and how they're going to attack the Tennessee Titans secondary. So actually I think one of those videos might be out today to, or today or tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. But but anyways, uh, this play is a good example of what I was talking about, about how you have to play smart football against them because their center, right guard, and right tackle each have one-on-one -on -one matchups, but they're actually going to pull their tight end over to the right side of the screen. 
And so for that Houston player right there, he's thinking, okay, tight end's going over in that direction. I'm in charge of covering him. I can't let him get wide open, so I'm going to have to go over to the right side of the screen as well to make sure I am covering him. That's what he does, and okay, so I understand the logic behind it, but the problem is it was a handoff, and now everybody's cleared out of the left side of the screen. And also, if you look, I mean, both of those Tennessee players just completely destroyed their blocks. I mean, I know, listen, Houston did not have their starters in today, so, well, you can't rest everybody. So Tennessee was obviously playing at an advantage, but... Because of the fact that that guy got fooled, now easily Henry is able to run over, gain some yards, and that's what I mean by you have to play smart football. It's one thing to be talented, but it's a whole other thing to realize what you're supposed to do in each situation, and if you don't realize what you're supposed to do, you'll have some trouble. This one's another play I just love from Henry. What's going to happen is that there's going to be a double team and also a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the left side of the screen, and also Tennessee is going to pull their left guard over to the left side of the screen, to make sure he just blocks whichever Houston Texan player is in the area. And so after the ball is snapped, it works out relatively well. There is definitely a Houston Texan who wins his own one-on-one -on -one matchup decently well enough that Henry probably won't get too many yards. And of course, there's also another Texan player who's over there. So that means that he will be able to come in and make the tackle. You can't block everybody, but already this was a win from Tennessee. They're able to gain some yards, and that's the important thing. But watch what Henry does here. A lot of guys would maybe try to make someone miss, try to do something fancy. Not Henry. Lowers the shoulder, runs right through a guy, gains even more yards. And and that's what I love about him as well, is he's not just a, a speed guy. He's not just someone who relies on his footwork. He does have both of those things, but he's kind of just saying, hey, I'm a big guy. I can run over some guys, so why not? You know, he's a football player, and, and he showed it right there. And even a play like this, this play is just like unstoppable, I feel like. And this is what's going to give the Patriots some trouble. If you get into a goal line situation, they might as well just put seven points on the board. Because a play like this, I just don't know how you stop. Or what's going to happen for Tennessee is, first there's just those three one-on-one -on -one matchups. That part's not too fancy. But what's interesting is what's going to happen next. It's actually going to be a pitch play to the left side of the screen. And so the other two players who I haven't told you what they're doing on the left side of the screen are going to kind of run like that. They're going to run around and basically just block whoever's going to be in the area because there are only going to be two other Texans who get in the area. And I mean, again, after the ball is snapped, how do you stop this? Because you're only going to have two guys to make a play, and honestly, even if one of them were able to get around their block, then Henry probably could still run them over and get into the end zone. You'd almost have to need two guys to get around the block, which is just so difficult to do, especially against a good blocking team in the Tennessee Titans. I just don't know. I just don't know if a team can, can really stop them in that type of situation. I think for Tennessee, they can almost always convert on third and one, third and two if they just execute correctly, and they do a, do a pretty good job of executing correctly. And I mean, it really is. I mean, that's how the Tennessee Titans were able to get to the playoffs. With all of this Ryan Tannehill hype, which, listen, I do get, he's been very good for the Titans, I do feel like Derrick Henry hasn't really gotten the credit he's deserved. I mean, He's been a crucial part of this Titans offense, and in my opinion, he's the MVP of the Tennessee Titans this season, even with how good Ryan Tannehill has been down the stretch. The reality is, they're in the playoffs right now. Yes, they have to go into New England to pick up a win, but you know what? what I about, can't think of a better way for Ryan Tannehill to get his first playoff win than to do it against the Patriots, the team that has beaten him so many times when he was with the Dolphins. But yeah, as I said, I have plenty more to preview about that playoff matchup in the future, but... This will actually be my last regular season video of the 2019 season. After this video, I'm going straight into postseason coverage. So be on the lookout. Out, I'm going to have just plenty of videos to talk about that. I can honestly see this game going either way. I could see either team blowing out the other team, and I could see either team beating the other team in a close game. I could see anything happening in this game. It's It was the toughest one for me to predict when I was making my playoff prediction. I did predict the Titans, but half of that was just because... Let's have some fun and predict the underdog, but uh, but I could really see this happening either way. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching.